Hey everyone, it's Dow from Gifted Music, back with another Gifted Music video. Here with my guy Pete Gunner for the interview. So how you feeling, my bro? Chilling, my boy. Nice. Nah, Memorial Day, actually. That's a fact. It's a blessing to be here, man. Holiday. That's a fact. RIP to everybody that didn't make it here, man. A special RIP to all of the fallen people that came in. So, off rip, we're gonna take it from the beginning or from the top. So, where you from? Which part? East Flatbush, like Church Avenue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anything Church Avenue, that's me. Mm -hmm. So, Flatbush is a special hood. I grew up in Flat. I grew up in Flatbush, but I ended up moving to the East and shit. So, tell them what's something that makes Flatbush different from every other hood. Oh, like, no lie, like, everybody's mostly a student. Yeah, that's a fact. A mixture of cultures. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? You got the church chicken, <laughs> you got the road team. You know what I'm saying? You got the Jeep on the pool for you. You got everything. You know what I'm saying? You got everything going on with Flatbush. That's a fact, but you're a very unique rapper and shit like that. I've been getting in tune with you. A lot of things, like, um, um, a lot of things get me going, like, uh, when I was here about you or whatever, or is interesting about you or whatever. One of the things that was interesting is that, like, you're from H and you're a crip, but you fuck with, like, twirlers yeah. and shit. How can you explain that to the people? Like, like at the time, like, before we even made Black and Blue, because Black and Blue became, like, a big politics. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, at the time when we was doing that, it was like, we just wanted to be different. Like, why are we gonna do what everybody else doing? That's a fact. That's my man's, I knew him forever. Why am I gonna kill my man? That's my man, that's nation. Nah, gangster. Not because somebody say do it, you must do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I'm saying sometimes it's manipulation. They just manipulate the shit out of you. For their own reason. So how long you been fucking with the G's? That's what's up. Like, reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, at the time, like, niggas know, like, I'm the cuz forever, but I'm not 83 through the politics no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, you can never make me go against my friend. I don't care who it is. Nah, that's what's up. I respect that, that. That made me, like, you know what? I can have that shit. I have my own shit. I yeah. Start records. That's what I push. Nah, and I, I don't respect gang that. Bang, I don't do none of that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Eight trade niggas, I'm still in cars, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas I still fuck with some niggas, don't fuck with me. I don't care. Alright. You know what I'm saying? So as far as like, do you get any backlash from that? Nah, or whatever the case, know. nobody feel the type of way, like, none of the crips. Like, everybody's still my man. It's like, if you was my man before, because I'm not just saying I'm not gonna be my man no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I was your man yesterday. That's a fact, but some, you, you know what I'm some people be feeling the type I'm of way, cause like, type of way, or whatever, like, uh, another question or something. Do you fuck with crips from the woo side? That's a good I, 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 I have friends. I can't. I can't definitely. I definitely do. I'm not gonna say anything. That's what's up. I just can't remember all of them. Mm -hmm. But I have friends though. Shit is like small. You gotta think about the house. Yeah. I went to Belize. Oh, I see. You know what I'm saying? I went to Belize for eight years. So, did you say that what you saying yesterday? Your opinion that like this woo versus toilet shit is fucking Brooklyn up? This shit is like. I can't, I, I, the, the way about this shit is like, it is fucking good. It is, it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but it, it done came so far. It done, it done came so far, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't going to hook the kick and stop this shit. Damn, you think it's, you think it's most full? I ain't going to the kick and stop this shit right here. God damn. Nah, but I'm saying that, but it's like, the more people that I see now, they're cutting checks. Before it wasn't even cutting no checks. A lot of people Yeah. Now we get opportunity and we get a little money, people start to separate. So you might not be in this area anymore. Yeah. Everybody's confined to small Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you get an outlet now, you can be somewhere else. Yeah. Your mind changes. That's a fact. You start to appreciate life because you know, wow, I came from this. That's where I'm at. Yeah. You gotta wake up every day. Somebody ice cream when you go to the corner store for no reason. Nah, that's most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Because you know how Brooklyn is. So I see you being like, I, one thing I could say about you is that you're for the peace and like you don't engage in none of like the beef politics or whatever the case may be. So one thing I wanted to ask you, can you see yourself in the future being like a peacemaker between the wolves and the folks? That's what I would like to see. Like a peacemaker? Like a peacemaker. I don't speak on like for me, mm -hmm. it's impossible. Damn. Because you got to understand, like some, some people are really... Ignorant, they would never put themselves aside and cry. 
Yeah, that's it's a fact. Mm -hmm. So regardless, like, gangs of respect, gangs of respect. Yeah. You know if a nigga pussy, you know. Even if you call a pussy, he punched you in your mouth last week. You just seen your pussy. Yeah. He punched you in your mouth. That's you know what I'm saying? But in reality, it's impossible. That's what I can't piece me. Yeah. So from your perspective, I would say, like, because I knew in the prior before, like, when you hear, like, the OGs talk about the history, the Crips and the Gs used to fuck with each other on, like, a heavy note. When did the fallout happen or begin from your perspective? I guess my people Damn, and what year would you say that if you had to give it in your perspective? Not even really as far as, like, the... Around the time everybody was good at one point. Yeah, so it, was, it, it wasn't like they, people was friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was good. Mm -hmm. So as far as like they always used to say like a lot of the folks now was crip before. What were some of the reasons why like the crips would turn folks? Like what were some of like the reasons that came into play? Which is mm, I heard that before. That's the crazy part of the streets go. Like, 